Japan. And new tonight, we have an update on our local housing market. The latest data from the Coastal Carolinas Association of Realtors shows the number of homes sold is decreasing, but the number of homes available to sell are increasing. News 13's Jennifer Blake joins us live in the newsroom with more. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening, Manny. I spoke with a local realtor and a lender about what's causing the housing market to be less hectic and to see if the market is going to crash in our future. Things are starting to slow down a little bit. People have that fear that a, a collapse is imminent, but with the demand still being so high, it's not likely at all. The housing market is always changing. According to data from the Coastal Carolinas Association of Realtors, both home inventory and the median sales price increased by more than 21% compared to June of 2021. Part is just inflation. When, when the stock market starts going down, it has the opposite reflect, uh, impact on mortgage rates. It also shows that closed sales decreased by 16% for family homes and pending sales decreased by more than 5%. Basically, this means it's less affordable to buy a home now than last year. Maria Nazario, a local realtor, says location is a major factor. Our area has so much to do with it as well because we're in such a high demand area. This caused homes to get quickly snatched off of the market, but now homes are staying on the market longer than a few months ago. Now we're talking like, you know, maybe a couple days versus hours on the market with multiple offers. A local lender, Max Neubauer, breaks down what a housing market crash is and why experts don't see it happening anytime soon. We're not at all expecting any kind of crash because the demand is there. When, when a crash occurs, when there's too much inventory, inventory not yeah. enough buyers. Right now, there is an abundance of buyers along the Grand Strand. Neubauer says a big reason for that is the pandemic. When people got told they're never going to go back to the offices. Exactly. Offices are shutting down. Would you want to work remote in a little apartment somewhere in a city or be at the beach? Both Neubauer and Nazario say if you're even considering buying a home, your first step is to reach out to a lender to see what best fits your budget. And I'll have the latest housing market data on our website at WBTW.com. Manny, back to you.